All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install PHP VB305 on a XAMPP 1.7.2 for Windows uh, web server. Um, so to begin with, you need to have already downloaded this, and then we need to extract all the uh, file contents. And while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and go to our htdocs folder. So I'm going to go to the computer. The C drive, XAMPP, and then HT Docs. And I'm going to minimize this window and I'm going to drag it down here for just a second. And then as soon as this gets finished, we'll copy that over to this uh, directory. All right, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, you know, take and move this window. Now, if you're going to install it as a subdirectory, we're going to do it like this right here. You'll just take and drag and copy this all over. Your htdocs folder. If not, you would actually go in and copy the the contents of PHP BB3 into and then uh, paste them directly into your uh, htdocs folder. All right, now that we've got that done, we're ready to go ahead and start setting up our database. So we're going to open our browser. And then we're going to go to localhost and then PHP my admin. And then we're going to sign in as the uh, root user. Alright, and then next we're going to go ahead and create a new database. I'm going to call it PHP BB3. It doesn't matter what you call it, just as long as you can remember what you called it. And for some reason it kicked me out, no big deal. Alright, try again. Alright, now we got the new database created. Now we're going to come over here and click on the house. And then we're going to click on privileges. And then add new user. And then we're going to make up a username. It doesn't matter what the username, it can be whatever. And then under host, we're going to select local. And then for the password, I'm just going to click the generate button. And I'm going to select this. I'm going to right click and then copy and then we're going to go down here to the bottom and click go alright and now we're going to scroll down and find this uh, area here and then we're going to select our database we're going to click check all we'll scroll down and click go alright now we've got that set up Next, I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab and I'm going to go to localhost forward slash php uh, bb3 install index.php. All right, so now we come to the introduction. We're going to go ahead and click on the install tab. Scroll down and click proceed to next. And we're going to go down through here. Everything should be good. Um, under supported databases, there's a few red ones, so that's perfectly fine. Um, the image magic support saying that it uh, cannot determine location, we're not worried about that either. And then we're going to go ahead and click start as long as everything else is green. Now we can leave the database type as this, or you can go ahead and select MySQL, either one, it doesn't matter. Um, for the database server name, we need to type in uh, localhost. For the server port, we're going to leave that blank. The database name is going to be phpbb3. The username is going to be phpbb uh, data. And then the password, I'm going to press control V as in Victor to paste that password. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. As long as you entered that information correctly, you should see a successful connection. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. Now we're going to uh, type in the administrator username. Now I'm going to pick a password for that user. Confirm that password. Now I'm going to type in an email address. All right, now I'm going to go to the next step. And you should see the test passed. All right, now we're going to click to proceed next again. 
Now all these right here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave all this on the default. It should be fine as is, but if you see something that you would like to change, you're more than welcome to. And then we're going to go ahead and click proceed to next step. All right, now it says the database tables have been uh, created, so we're going to go ahead and click proceed. All right. So now it says we have successfully um, installed it. Now what we have to do is go back to our HT Docs folder, go into PHP BB3, and then you can either rename this or delete it. I just simply delete mine. All right. And now we can go ahead and go to login. And it took us straight into the, uh, to the administrative section of our website. And if you want to click and see what your form looks like, you go ahead and uh, go to board index. And now there's your uh, new PHP BB forum. And that is how you install PHP BB on uh, Windows XM server. Thanks for watching.